Hello everyone, once again you are welcome. Please, if this is your first time listening to us or you are just joining us for the first time, kindly support and encourage us by subscribing to this channel. Turn on your notification bell so you will be notified when we have a new video posted in this channel. Thank you. So, I, I am actually, I'm actually sharing this particular video right now because I want you to also listen to what Hope Uzodima, the governor of Imo State, had to tell Nigerians, okay? Now, um, for a long time now, they've actually made us, uh, they've made Nigerians expect nothing. I mean, yeah, I should, if I'm saying that, I'm not wrong. Expect nothing because when they keep explaining, they keep giving us explanation, they keep giving us explanation without any, no action. Uh, you know, nothing is coming out. It's making us expect it to look like there's nothing, in fact, nothing is coming out. So we are actually expecting nothing right now. Now, I'm a bit not happy. I'm not like, I'm not happy, angry when I listen to Hope Uzodima. I'm going to share the video with you. Now, this video I'm sharing with you is actually part of a an interview um, he attended in with channels television. So they ask him, how long more should Nigerians wait? How long should they endure this suffering? Now, we were expecting him to maybe say, okay, this is the solution. This is what we are expecting. This is what will happen. But Hope Uzodima, the governor of Imo State, diverted from answering these questions and be talking about cabals. And if I may ask, who are the cabals? Are they spirit or are they above the government? Now, these cabals we are talking about are the people that are in the presidency. Is In fact, it is them that are still these cabals. So when you talk about cabals, it looks like there are a set of people outside that are thwarting the effort of the president. What has the president done that... People are thwarting the effort. Let them tell us, okay, this is what we've been able to do. And at the end of the day, it's not working out for this reason. This is what we are doing. And at the end of the day, it's not working out because people are stopping this from working. We're talking about the first subsidy. Since they removed the first subsidy, what has the president done? What has the government done to help Nigerians? Aside the palliative that is, if... I, I, I saw some persons, they share uh, some cups of rice, spaghetti, and they say palliative. How long would someone eat two cups of rice and one spaghetti and maggi and all of that? And you call that a, a palliative? So these are things they should put on the table and say, okay, this is what the president has done already. And these are the people, the cabals, trying to stop what the president has done or anyways let me just pause here and allow you to listen to him i want you to i want you to get to the comment section of this video and drop your comment let me know what you think about um this question let me know what you think about what hope uzadima the governor of imo state is actually saying in this video please don't forget to subscribe we're coming up with more stories that we are going to be sharing in this platform so you can also learn we can learn together thank you and have a nice time Telling them because you are speaking from one side of the society. Let me tell you something. If the policies, the situation as it is now, today, and the consequences of the various policies of government is not unexpected, there is no how you can cure the negative impact of a subsidy remover. You can cure. The negative impact of removing a cabal that have managed our exchange rate programs over the years to their interest without some pens. This initial pens is why federal government has introduced some measures, what we call palliative measures. But they will ask you, they've not seen no, it can never how, be, many, how many people It can never be enough palliatives. because it cannot only dash fish to human beings. You must teach a human being how to fish. The dashing of giving of um, palliatives by forms of foodstuffs, palliative envelopes, can never be enough. We are trying, the president, as I, I understand, is trying to bring a permanent solution to the problems of poverty, hunger, and then bad economy. So I think that, speaking with the president, I'm the chairman of Progressive Governors Forum. I preside over the meetings of 20 governors in Nigeria out of 36. I have interacted with the president. And she, you don't know me to be a, 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 a psychophant. If the president has no clear direction 
of what will lead Nigeria to prosperity, I will be one of those that will first begin to protest. But he has a solution. I've considered a permanent solution. How long more can, should Nigerians wait? How long more should they endure this pain and I, this suffering? I don't believe in hypothesis. I don't come here and sit and become a prophet. But I tell you, in my findings and understanding of the country, that the dark exists cabals and deities who before dollar business can be conducted must be worshipped. Who before political decisions must be taken must be consulted. And this has become a retardation what? to the progress of Nigeria. Why can't we take out these cabals? Are they bigger than no, Nigeria? No, they are the people sponsoring both artificial media. They are the people sponsoring opposition to come with the blackmail and the negative propaganda against a president who is very versatile, who is from the private sector, who meant to well, who wants to correct the issues of the past. Are they the same people who are sponsoring foreign investors who are leaving the country in droves? No, the, those who living are not investors. They are those who are benefiting from the Kaba system. When they tell you they are leaving, they are leaving because they can no longer benefit from foreign exchange disparity. They can no longer benefit from crude oil theft. They can no longer benefit from the in, in cases of uh, petroleum subsidy, pretending to be importing fuel when they were not importing anyone, forging documents to access of government money. Those are the people living. And again, it is a blessing in these guys because the more they live, the more opportunity the indigenous companies will have to participate. There is no rocket science. There is no foreign investor who is comfortable in his country that will want to leave his country and come here. And at the same time, there is the people of the good investors and genuine investors who are Nigerians, who have been denied opportunity to practice and invest. They now have opportunity to do so. So I think the earlier the artificial and fake